Hi, my name is Toby Brown and I'm a Sonoma County Master Gardener and I'm here in our demo space at Harvest for the Hungry Garden. And one of the most damaging pests for us has shown up in the garden, sadly, oh, and that's the cucumber beetle. There's two types of cucumber beetles, a spotted one that looks like a ladybug but it's green, and a striped cucumber beetle. Usually we get them both here. Uh, we grow a wide variety of crops that they like to eat. In fact, they eat just about everything. So it's important to jump on it as soon as you see them. So you can see the damage that we've got here. And you know, the leaves are one thing. It does inhibit the, uh, the amount of surface area that we have for photosynthesis, but they also go through and they will damage the fruit and they'll leave scarring on the outside. So um, the best thing you can do that's easy, free, and it's great for the environment, is you just take a um, container and put in a teeny tiny bit of soap and water, and then you go around and you go on a cucumber beetle hunt. So I do this in the mornings because they move slower in the mornings. Now, here's a flower that's fallen off. I'm gonna look in here. What I found is they love to hide in the flowers. So let's see if we've got one in there. Ah, I'm not sure if you can see that. There he is, right there, striped cucumber beetle. Now, I'm just gonna take that and dump him in here and he will die. So I'm gonna carefully look in here. This flower right here has already passed its prime. And so I'm gonna look in. They still love to hide in there. Up, oh, there's a tiny one and I'll put in here. The other place that you're gonna look, and notice I'm, I'm wrecking this flower, but because it was closed, it's really not a viable flower anymore. And it's, see this one is closed, but see how nice and, and um, new this looks. Sometimes you can find them on the leaves. There's one, and what we do, is just knock them off. I'll look around, I'll be really careful. Right around the base, the adults lay the eggs around the base of the plant and then they start chewing down there to start with. So look there as well. Check every morning and every evening on any affected plants and you can get this under control. Here's another way to help control cucumber beetles. They are a common problem in our garden this time of year and they can have many generations so unless you get right on it it's going to be a continual problem all summer so we have row cover that we put over our cucumbers that are usually very affected and that helps you know the <laughs> cucumber beetles aren't terribly smart so they don't see all the ways to get in however it's great to go through and try to deter them as much as possible. This was off, so you know, keeping them as tight as possible. But the cucumbers are just looking gorgeous, and see how beautiful they are. No damaged leaves yet, which is great. Still a good idea if to start looking around the base so that you don't end up with that issue. 